Howdy. You so precious when you smile. Girl, I lose myself up in those eyes. I just had to let you know your. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Snoop Dogg. And I'm Wiz Khalifa. And today is Friday, April 20th. Please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. Yesterday, members of the Cloister FFA traveled to Newmanstown to compete in the Regional Public Speaking Creed Contest. They had to compete and qualify in the county level contest in order to earn a spot to advance to this level of the competition. The chapter was represented in four of the five speaking contests that occurred. Their placings are as follows. In Conservation, placing fourth out of eight, Ashlyn Taylor. In Junior Prepared, placing fifth out of eleventh, our very own Mary Miller's brother, Peyton Miller. Peyton. In Creed Speaking, placing 5th out of 11th, Tori Murky. And placing 1st and moving on to states in June is Josh Potts. Attaboy, Josh. And last but certainly not least, in Extemporaneous, placing 1st and moving on to the state level competition in June is Clara Bollinger. Ah, yep. Yeah. Anyway. That's my sister. If you see any of these students in the halls today, please congratulate them on their accomplishments. Way to go, guys. Hey freshmen, don't forget that your fundraiser, the fantastic no sub sale, is currently taking place. Papers and money can be returned to Doc Gambler in room 214 at any time. The sale will run through the 25th. So get those donations and your money in today. This, this announcement is for any student taking an AP exam this May. On Monday, April 23rd, there will be a mandatory AP pre-administration meeting in the cafe immediately following homeroom on Monday. All students who are taking an AP exam must attend. Seniors who come in late are expected to show up in, to the cafe by 7.45 a.m. During this meeting, you'll receive your AP student packs with your AP number, and you'll complete portions of your AP answer sheets. Now over to Mary with the news. How are you so charming and muscular? I ask myself that every day. What's the year? Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? When I'm driving the car, I get to choose the radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. Welcome to Effort of PM. Thought I'd bring it to you real smooth. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear about... Raul Castro, current president of Cuba, has announced that he will be surrendering power to Miguel Diaz-Canel who was elected by the Communist Party after Castro released a statement declaring that he was to step down shortly. Although little is known of his personal life, it is known that Diaz-Canel is likely to take a significantly more progressive stance of social issues in the country, having historically rallied support for anti-discriminatory legislation in labor, as well as having supported legislation to protect the threatened Cuban LGBT community. It is also likely that Diaz-Canel will begin liberalization measures that could open up economic barriers in the country, making it easier for goods and financial capital both in and out of the country. Other than this, very little is known about the new president of Cuba. On this day in history, what is generally regarded as the first detective story is published in 1847. Edgar Allan Poe's The Murders in the Rue Morgue focused on the incredible analytical power that the main character, C. Auguste Dupin, uses to solve a series of murders in Paris. And, like the later Sherlock Holmes stories, the tale is narrated by the detective's roommate. After this, detective stories were all the rage, and they gave birth to a lot of common mystery tropes we still enjoy today. Now back to the main couch with lunch. Whoa! Lunch? Oh, are you hungry? Because I'm hungry. Oh, I'm starving. Anyway, today we have a Mountaineer double cheeseburger. Egg roll with general sauce, chicken or rice. Buffalo chicken flatbread. PB&J Uncrustable. Chicken Caesar salad. Steamed broccoli. Fresh cauliflower and dip. Roasted baby carrots. Fresh fruit. Applesauce. Or... Sasha! Now over the sports.
volleyball lost three to one at home against versus Kikalico. On a very cold and windy spring day, the track and field teams completed their third straight dual meet sweep at Garden Spot yesterday. The boys team took care of Garden Spot 112 to 36 to improve to three and one on the season. Logan Usner and Eli Bazenga were the double win double winners for the boys, while Ray Truex, Jonah Riddle, and Trevor Herzog won their first varsity events. The girls team was equally impressive as they won 108 to 38. Candice Liebel, Faith Hirschberger, and Madison Martin each won two events for the girls team. Congratulations to both teams and a great meet. And Logan Usner is a god. He is, he is second in the LL with an 11-1. Today in sports, baseball is at McCaskey. Boys lacrosse is at Cedarcrest. Tennis is at Anvil Cleona. Girls lacrosse is home versus Cedarcrest. And softball is home versus McCaskey. Now back to the main couch. Pick on Senior Day is coming up. It will be held on May 11th. Here is your chance to bid on one of the seniors and dress them up in the most creative way possible. Bidding will be held in the cafeteria during your lunch from April 24th through May 8th. Seniors who choose to participate should sign up during lunch. If you have any questions, stop down to see Mr. Marzok in room 137. <clears throat> Just saying, if you don't bid Tony up, I'm going to be mad because he's worth a lot of money to me. On Wednesday, April 25th, we will be having our mini Relay for Life here at the high school. We will be having Spirit Days next week to recognize the different cancers. Have have the list. To help raise money to beat cancer, all you need is one dollar. Please bring in a dollar to your homeroom teacher. You can also donate money during lunch. On the day of the relay, every grade will be going outside to walk for a cure. In addition to walking, we will also have fun competitions to win prizes. If you want to compete in one of these competitions, you can sign up during lunch. They gave me all these. They gave me these, and I don't know how to use them, but maybe you can read that. I bet you can't. Anyway. Ah, well, Ephrata? Yes, Ben, I can read the teleprompter. Have a great day. I hope you didn't have very high expectations for this episode, but, uh... Sorry for, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. We don't know what else Have to a say. great Friday. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. I see you, Ben.